And the death of George Floyd sparked protests and conversations about racial injustice across the country, including right here in Charlotte. And tonight, CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings spoke about what his department is doing to establish trust in the community. Lana Harris joins us now with the details. Said on a panel today that he does believe that with some officers, there may be an undue fear when it comes to approaching community members who don't look like them, and that he is working to build a force the community can trust. Uh, it's been brought to the attention across the country that that we need to do better. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings said on a panel today that police departments need to deal with community distrust. For too long, uh, there's been a lot of us against them, uh, and. Uh, and law enforcement has to kind of break that wall. Chief Jennings says part of that is ensuring police forces are diverse. Our jurisdiction's about 34% uh, African American. However, our department only makes up about 17%. The same can be seen in the Hispanic community, which makes up about 13% of the community, but only about 6 to 7% of CMPD. Chief Jennings says he'd like to increase that using local people. People that were brought up here in Charlotte or from here in Charlotte, and now they're serving in Charlotte. Uh, is it goes such a long way. But diversity is half the battle. According to a study by researchers at Harvard, black people are more than three times as likely to be killed during a police encounter than white people. When you start talking about what decisions those officers are making, are, are they based on any biases? Chief Jennings says it's why officers should get racial bias training and get to know the community members they serve. So that uh, you're not in a situation where people that don't look like you that creates some sort of undue fear or undue reaction uh, when you're involved in situations that might be, uh, um, you know, split second decision making. Chief Jennings says that soon people will start to see officers wrapped on buses and trains in the city with officers who are from here and serve here as part of their efforts to connect with the community. And I'm Tom Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.